What is up Herbalites and welcome back to our rebranded Herbal YouTube channel. Welcome to the great British summer, football is finally coming home and I'm back with another premium herbal product review. Introducing the Herbie Box. This luxury herbal tea blend contains some amazing ingredients such as ginkgo biloba, ashwagandha and sarsaparilla. Let's go check them out. Now this box is essentially a do-it-yourself herbal tea kit where you can bag your own dried herbs and brew your own blend of nutritious herbal tea, which is dubbed to contain many ingredients to aid in digestion, concentration, mood, and energy. Now the company was founded by a gentleman called Paul Latote, or Dungu Book, who's a certified herbalist and nutritionist and his partner Yemi. This box is now actually stocked at the prestigious London department store Selfridges and Paul has since written a number of books on herbs for vegans and including vegan bodybuilding. Now this herbal tea blend contains herbs specifically chosen to have a direct impact on one of our mood, energy, focus or general tranquility. Now these plants contain phytonutrients which are bioactive compounds such as polyphenols, terpenoids and flavonols, all which interact with our body systems to ensure our internal environment is maintained. That's called homeostasis. Now in the pack come seven corked glass bottles. Now these bottles contain a delightful smelling concoction of five different herbs, ginkgo biloba, Siberian ginseng, milk thistle, sarsaparilla and stinging nettle. Now sit back, sip your tea, and let's get our herb on. Now Ginkgo biloba is an ancient seed tree which can live over a thousand years and grow up to 40 meters tall. In fact, it's actually so old it's referred to as a living fossil. Now Ginkgo is one of the most commonly taken phytomedicines, that's plant medicine, around the world and is actually used as an anti-dementia medication in mainland Europe. Ginkgo does this by scavenging the pesky free radicals which damage our brains via oxidant. She also inhibits the buildup of a protein called amyloid beta, which is indicated in the pathology of Alzheimer's disease. Now, Ginkgo enhances blood flow by producing nitric oxide, which is a compound which relaxes our blood vessels, making our blood run easier through the vessel. Now, Ginkgo improves our mood by inhibiting the reuptake of our feel good hormones dopamine, serotonin, and noradrenaline. If you have more dopamine in your brain, you tend to think more. I like to think of it as more dopamine, more pleasure, more planning, and more plotting. The extra noradrenaline in our system really helps us improve with our arousal and focus, allowing us to better respond to periods of mental and physical stress. Okay, so that was a focused overview of Ginkgo Biloba, and now quickly to run through the rest of the ingredients that come in your Herbie Box Herbal Tea Blend. Firstly, we come to Siberian ginseng, okay, which is an adaptogen herb. If you haven't heard of an adaptogen before, you can give it a little Google, but essentially they enhance our body's ability to deal with stress. Now, Siberian ginseng has actually been trialled to treat fatigue in people suffering with burnout or chronic stress. All links to the studies will be posted in the description box below, guys. Now, milk thistle, aka silly bum, pretty easy to remember, right, detoxifies our liver. It's used in addition with generic medicines for alcoholic and non-alcoholic liver disease as well as liver cirrhosis. Now the common household weed, stinging nettle. Nettle contains essential vitamins A, C and K and plenty of magnesium, iron and calcium. Now stinging nettle medicinally acts as a diuretic which means it makes you go to the toilet, therefore actually lowering your blood pressure. Now to my favourite underrated ingredient in this mix, sarsaparilla. The woody climbing vine makes its home in South America and you may have already be familiar with it due to the sarsaparilla drink which is a popular home remedy in the 1800s and has since been served in pubs as it's quite similar to root beer. Anyway, in this mix sarsaparilla acts as a synergist, increasing the bioavailability and absorption of the other herbs. Essentially a real underrated player, the Angolo Cante of herbs. Now on to the review. The herb boxes, let's be honest, look amazing. Real nice cute features on the bottles with a nice cork top and an embrazen logo. On the nostrils is deep herby notes, quite similar to your household spices. And I can see some sh small shards of leaves, roots and stems in here. The do-it-yourself nature of the herby box really intrigued me and I thought the tea was quite refreshing. It'd really be good for someone to buy as a gift to encourage them to look inwardly at their own health habits. 
Now in the Herbie box came a little pamphlet with lots of lifestyle tips, recipes, and healthy food list. Here's me going through it earlier. As you can see here, listed on the fruit section, you have the blueberries, uh, raspberries, goji berries. Uh, all these things contain rich sources of a flavonol called anthocyanin, uh, which is actually used in the treatment of glaucoma uh, and preventing something called computer vision syndrome, of which you can watch a full video on that um, in the links below. Uh, moving on to the grains and legumes, brown rice, green lentils, quinoa, uh, all these are very, very important uh, things to try and reduce our saturated fats and reduce our risk of lifestyle diseases such as type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure and heart disease. If you want to read more about that, check out the Framingham study done in Massachusetts, 1948. Uh, and finally, moving on to nuts and seeds, uh, the key here is to try and balance our omega-3s with our omega-6 fatty acids. Most of us are deficient in the omega-3s, which we get from hemp seeds right there, uh, walnuts uh, and also linseed is a rich source of omega free fatty acid. This smashing little product deserves a 4.1 on our Herbal Docs Rateometer. I really like how it invites you to take an inward look at your own health. Now I understand the market herbie has gone for here, hence the £30 asking price, which someone argues not quite accessible for everyone, particularly only for a week of tea. Anyway, here's 15% courtesy of the big man himself, maybe one day I'll be able to deadlift as much as him. Or maybe not. And with that, we draw to a close on the Herbal Docs review of the Herbie Box. Really hope you enjoyed, guys. Stick a comment in the box. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys next time.